now that we have proven this theorem that says for any two events in S, the probability of A union B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection. Now that we've proven that, let's go ahead and actually use that a little bit. So here's an example for you. I made these numbers up, so don't actually believe them, but suppose that 85% of University of St. Thomas students own a laptop, 10% own a tablet, and 5% own both a laptop and a tablet. Now we're wondering what proportion own a laptop and not a tablet, so just a laptop, and then what proportion own a laptop and or a tablet, so just like some kind of computery thing. So to answer these questions, I highly, highly, highly recommend drawing a picture. So I know sometimes people think pictures are babyish, but in cases like this, drawing a picture makes the answer fall out just like that. So let's start by drawing the picture, and then we can um, put in some of these numbers. Okay, so I drew a big circle for a laptop because a lot of students own a laptop. And then I have a circle that's small-ish for tablet because not a ton of students own a tablet, just 10%. I'm trying to make it roughly to scale, but not exactly. All right, so 5% own both a laptop and a tablet. So let's put 5 in this intersection here. Now, if we look at the entire circle for tablet, we know 10% own a tablet, so this entire circle is 10%, but the intersection part is five. So that means that there's five left over for students who own a tablet and not a laptop. All right, so our picture is starting to fill out now. Let's finish off that laptop circle. So 85% own a laptop, so this entire circle is 85 but we know that the part of the circle for laptop here is five. So if we have something plus five equals 85, then that something has to be 80. All right, so we have 80% on a laptop and not a tablet, 5% on both, 5% on a tablet and not a laptop, and then we could say 85% of students on a laptop 10% on a tablet. So we've checked our work and everything works out here. Now we can go ahead and answer our question. What proportion own a laptop and not a tablet? That's 80%. What percent of students own a laptop and or a tablet? We're just going to add these three numbers together. So 80 plus 5 plus 5, that's 90%.